So we're just enhancing the benefit of a good old fashioned, but admittedly very boring exercise, the elbow plank. So now we have this lateral pull with the NT loop, with the NT loop around our way. So it's pulling us this way. So we're getting a little extra activation there. Now, Romina and I both don't have to be doing the exact same exercise. She could stay there. I, want, I can step it up a notch while I'm doing push-ups if we're working with people with varying strength levels. She can do a plank while I'm doing something like a bird dog. Right? So we can have some fun with that. All right, Romina, you can take a break. Now, let's talk about how we would set this up. It's really not that complicated, so there's no reason to make it that. One person would start it first around their waist, so I would take it off. So it's okay, Romina, it goes around your waist underneath her far side armpit. Once it gets set up, then I would come in. I would get it set up. And then we would go into the position, so we would assume our plank position. One person is going to be the base person. And I'm going to say, okay, Ramin, I'm going to move out a little further. You let me know if that is when, when to stop. Yeah. Good, okay, and then I get into it. Now, aside from the fact that we want to make sure that we're keeping good standard plank alignment, no sagging at the hips, no sagging at the head, strong through the scapula, one of the little tips here, you can take a break, is how wide your feet are when you do the plank. So the wider your feet are, the more you're offsetting the lateral pull of that band. So if one person is a little bit heavier than the other in a partner setup, then the lighter person is going to go a little bit wider at their, at their feet to get a little bit larger base of support. Now, how will we do this in a partner situation if we're going to do the other side? Right? So let's say we want to do a minute worth of planks, and we don't want to make it as boring as just holding it there like a mannequin, right? So we would do 30 seconds with the band pulling me to my right, Ramina to her left. Very simple to change this. We're both going to turn towards one another, just 180, like that. And then here we go again. So she'll be the base person. Good. I'm going to get out. How's that feel? Good. And there we go. So then when we're done, we go to knees. She stays where she's at. I'll move in. So again, when you're working with a partner and you're both tied to one another with the NT loop, one person is the base person, one person is the communication person in regards to how far you go when you're stopping, when you're coming in, so you're not pulling each other off your feet. 